Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making gluten-free hash brown dogs on a stick. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So here are the list of ingredients that we need. It's fairly simple and I'm making this because my daughters loved it so much I had to make the video. Or at least they begged me to make the video. So to start off, I'm showing you guys everything that I'm doing because it's so easy. Get your boiling water first. I'm using two cartons of these hash brown box packages because I couldn't find the frozen ones. If you guys want to use fresh potatoes, go ahead and get about five or six potatoes and cut them matchstick thin just so you have fresh potatoes if you don't have the cartons or the frozen ones. Um, I believe they're about 33.6 ounces per box, so use them accordingly. With these two boxes, I was able to make six of the hash brown dogs on a stick. I'm trying to think of the name, they told me to call it that, so that's what we're going with. So following the instructions on the box, we are going to fill up the water to the straight line across. You know when you open your milk cartons and whatever, there's that little line where you fold? Well, we're going to fill it up to that line and then again, according to the instructions, just to keep it sealed in the container for 12 minutes. The only thing you're going to want to do after you get everything sealed is make sure that you have something heavy to place right on top to keep it closed so you can make sure it's cooking. So I just threw the salt and pepper containers right on top. Anything heavy will work, just it might pop off or whatever if it's too light. So make sure it's heavy enough to keep it sealed. So after the 12 minutes, this is how they looked. According to the instructions again, it says to drain any water that may be inside the box. Guess what? There was no water inside the box. So <laughs> I didn't need to drain any of the water. It came straight out of the carton like that right into my colander. So we're just gonna do both of them, throw them right inside of a bowl, and then we're gonna start adding our ingredients. What we're gonna do is start off with a half a cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour. We're gonna add a few turns of our salt and pepper and do that to your preference, your taste. I think I turned mine about four times on each one. Also, if you'd like to add some garlic powder or onion powder or anything like that to season it some more, you can do so at this time. And then we're just gonna crack open one egg right inside the mix. All you have to do at this point is just mix. Thoroughly mix, just so we can make sure we bind everything together. Now you guys can't ignore this part because I didn't even add it into the ingredients list because it didn't really do anything for me. So I just threw it in this video to show you guys what I'm doing just because I know somebody, somebody's going to ask or somebody's going to wonder what is that? What did you do? Why isn't this listed? What's happening? So here's the reason. <laughs> it did nothing. So <laughs> it's in there just to show you guys what it is and then that's it. Alright, I couldn't find my wooden skewers so I ended up just using wooden chopsticks instead. I did not pre-soak them, everything was fine the way it turned out. But all we need to do is grab your hot dog, grab your hash browns, and smash that hash brown around your hot dog stick. Don't be gentle, don't just pat it on, like literally squeeze it on there like you're trying to squeeze some water out of a rag. You're going to keep squishing it on there until it sticks. And it will stick, it might take you a couple of tries, but you will get it to stick. And then all you need to do is throw it into your pan on medium high heat and turn this as needed or cook it to your preference or your liking. What you see me doing here is just adding some of the hot oil on top of the potatoes just so when I turn it everything sticks and nothing falls apart when you flip it. So let's check out the flip in a second. Alright grab your tongs and just flip it. That's it. I cooked the first side on two minutes and I lowered the heat after that just to make sure that I got the right golden crispy color that I wanted in the just the texture that I would want on my corn dogs. So, or hash brown dogs, excuse me, hash brown dogs. So just cook it to your liking and then do it until I give you up all of your hash browns. And this is what you turn out with. Again, mine made six out of eight hot dogs in a package and the kids loved it. They loved it so much they begged me to make this video. So I went ahead and threw it up here for you guys. So if you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching Watch Me Cook. 